Robinson and was dismissed after turning down the offer of a payoff. McLean plans to take the Edinburgh club to court, claiming breach of contract. He's been jobless since July. Tommy McLean's playing home games these days. Little Lorna's seen much more of her dad since Hart sacked him in July. Being out of work is a strange feeling for him. The last time out was uh, when I left the Rangers and then it was a week out of the job and then I was fortunate enough to be offered the position at Morton. So really in 33 years, yeah, I think that it was a week up to, up to now. Tommy McLean became the Hearts manager in June of last year after 10 years in charge at Motherwell. Hearts chairman Chris Robinson saw him as the man to bring some success back to Tynecastle. 13 months later, he was dismissed, having fallen out with Robinson over lack of cash for players. His relationship with his chairman had broken down early on. My crib is basically with the board and how they've handled it. They, I have no ill will towards anybody at Hearts and I honestly hope that they do reasonably well. A lot of people might think that's a tongue-in-cheek remark, but when you work with people as long as I had, or, or the year that I had with the Hearts and they sweat blood for you, uh, you don't want to see uh, players going home without bonuses and what have you, and the fans were good to me while I was there. So, uh, as I say, it's basically how it was handled in the end as the crib that I've got, and it's basically with the board. It's no way any, anything else to do with Hart and Midlothian Football Club. And obviously at the moment, your hands are tied in terms of what you can or more to the point can't say about it. Yeah, well, I think really there's a lot of things that will definitely come out in court. It's looking as if it's going to go to court because uh, that's about six weeks past and uh, there's no sign of a solution. I think uh, if there was going to be a solution, it would have been done by now. But there'll be a lot of interesting things, I can assure you, come out when it goes to court, Rob. So McLean can't speak about specifics, but he does have a general view that the club chairman, in many cases, grabs power for the wrong reasons. Basically, there are a lot of chairmen in for the profile that football bring, uh, but football is a different game from uh, business and any, any modern business. But it is the most important role, I think, within a club is the manager-chairman relationship. And it's got to be a sound because it's like everything else. If it's not right at the top, it filters through the club. And I honestly feel that if the manager-chairman relationship isn't is going well, sooner or later it's going to reflect through, through to the players and then it's going to reflect on the field. And that's then when, when the club, in my opinion, would get pulled down. When Hearts knocked Rangers out of the cup in February, the Tynecastle team were on a high. When they lost to Airdrie in the semi-final in April, their season spiralled downwards. But Tommy McLean says he was far from a failure. Look at overall, uh, we beat Rangers twice and we drew with them once uh, out of five games. We were undefeated against Celtic. We got to the semi-final of a Scottish Cup. Uh, we also finished sixth on the table and in the wheeling and dealing, there was around uh, a million and a half brought into the club uh, through the transfer. So I think a lot of chairmen and a lot of people would be pleased with how that had went uh, in the year there. So it wasn't a footballing thing and this is what I think a lot of people uh, as a political thing uh, that uh, I parted company with Hearts.